All right, Scotty, what have you found? And then I get to go tackle our engine bay. That's all, folks. Engine bay fun. Okay, so. Okay, so. Well, we got the neutral safety switch out. Which is good, because there's a yep. new one. Which I didn't realize. We've got salvaged as many of the sensors and, and pieces that we need to such. keep. So I'm sitting here going, all right, well, I need to get the wiring out. For the uh, window switches. Deal, get the window switches taken care of. It's been 15 years since I restored a C3. But I do know a couple things. A lock washer and a bolt does not belong there. No. You can't. That's supposed to be a cap screw with a shank. Correct. And not a knife for those of you playing the home game. Almost all the wirings onto the pat or onto the driver's side. I just got a couple of pieces I need to undo and feed and take I care of. I do have it separated up here, so you can crawl under there and undo the fuse block if you'd like. Yes, beautiful. So that'll so make life pull a that whole out. lot easier. Because we're separated but up in the front. The issue I've got is it's been, like I said, about 15 years since I've touched a C3. To forward. Mm. And I don't want to break it. No. Oh, speaking of, grab that other piece of console that has that engineering oh yes yes the, the the questionable the high quality chevy engineering but it wasn't from chevy it was from from ghetto mm. they used drywall screws and expanders to hold things oh those are what i use here to hang up stuff right exactly they made their own fabricated piece of metal to because it. they destroyed the factory Part. Mm, so when it's, you see it, I this, I mean, they just cut the, sn the, the out of it. Okay, so when you see this, Maurice, take a take note. Let me know if you want to reuse this or you want to get one coming, because that ain't cool, bud. Yeah, I mean, they they broke a lot of pieces. Um, uh, I mean, um, yeah, that's ghetto. I'm, I'm not picking on the car by no means. I'm no, not, you're picking on prior. Mechanics that don't know what they're doing, and now we're stuck fixing it. Yes, which is... You know, because I love the C3. I've restored one. I spent a year and a half on it to make it as right as rain, factory parts, factory screws. Every, I made the man buy everything. Yes. And when we were done, it won, it's won 17 or 18 awards as it stands right now. Nice. I mean, I was, I, was, I was meticulous with that car. But... That being said. So this is an issue. Scott's yes. gonna carry on on that. While he's doing that, I've gotten. Yes, let's look out and see what we've got over here. Yes, because Scotty hasn't seen this yet because he's been fighting all that. Everything in here is unhooked. There it is down yonder. That's going into the fuse block. There's two separate harnesses there. There's the engine harness and there is the light harness. Okay. I have all of the light stuff except for two grounds disconnected okay there's quite a bit of hokey going on up there i got these flipped up for easier access rib for your pleasure um beautiful beautiful but there's some like i got it on the floor i'll show it in another clip okay so high beam low beam. Low. that's the sensor for up and down that's right that's right i forgot about that now the uh, one of them was hooked up the other side it was zip tied to the chassis because it's broken. Okay. I don't think we need it for our little thing, our kit. But we might. So we will see when we get to that. But see, I just got two grounds. I have the horn ground, and then there's a ground down there that I got to get, and then that comes out. No, nope, there's actually one more ground that I don't think you saw. Probably not, but, you know, I'm and getting I, there. And I just did. So I disconnected the horn. So the horn ground is now disconnected. Yes. Ooh, here goes Scotty. Scotty, 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 doing magic. Yeah, there's a ground there. And then there's one down here. That's a hex, it's probably five sixteenths. So we got that going. I'm gonna take the rest of the wiring out for the fans because we will make it nice, nice and integrate it into our factory harness because this is yucky right now. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, baby, give it to me. 
Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, boy. Are we children? No, but sometimes we like to have fun. So Look that's that. all disconnected. Yeah, there's one ground at the lower corner where the radiator sits with like a factory style soft tapper. Now this, I have all of our alternator stuff and it's got, you know, it's got a one wire and then it's got all this. You and I have discussed this before, oh, yeah. Maurice. It, it, Maurice and I have had this conversation of yeah. this will need to be addressed anyway. So now that we got to the point of where we're at, it's obviously gonna get addressed now. So we gotta finish that. I gotta finish on doing that. That's part of the fan, which simple enough, easy enough. I did fix that so it worked, but now we're gonna fix it so it's extra nice. Yeah, that's stuck. I was bitching about that a minute ago. Anyway, so that's coming out. 